What's up, piano freaks? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Monique. I'm a classical pianist and I know why you are here. You just want to see me suffer again. <laughs> it's time for another one minute, ten minutes, one hour challenge today with a really challenging piece. <laughs> List Hungarian Rhapsody number six, but not like any part of it. It's going to be the arm breaker, the finger breaker, the everything break apart with crazy fast. Now, before we start, let's repeat the rules of this challenge. You have one minute, ten minutes and one hour to practice a piece that you've never played before and after every practicing session you have to try to perform the piece just the way it is in that moment. Now, without further ado, let's go and break some fingers. <laughs> and, by the way, don't forget to check out the links in the description box for upcoming concerts. Like always, I would like to say some words about what I was doing in all that time of practicing. Unfortunately, I wasted a lot of time during the 10 minutes practicing session because I wanted to see what is coming after this part and just, you know, play through until the end of the piece, which of course took some time because I'm not that good at sight reading. And so I lost quite some time during these 10 minutes to really concentrate on the technique. <laughs> Of course, I practice a lot slowly and I think for parts like this, where it's obvious that you're going to lose a lot of energy, even if you have a great technique, you're going to lose energy. So always practice slowly, <laughs> because otherwise you can only practice it like for five minutes and then you have to stop. So always keep it simple as well. Now here's a little big concert announcement. As you might know, I've just recorded my very first album with all Chopin tunes, and I'm very excited to play this program at the Liederhalle Stuttgart. It's a beautiful concert hall in my hometown, the city where I studied over the last 20 years. So I thought it's going to be a nice homage to doing my first album release concert here in this beautiful concert hall. You'll find all the information and tickets in the link in the description box. What I really love about these Hungarian Rhapsodies is that you're increasing the tempo more and more. So as I knew that the tempo is going to be faster later, I thought it's better to start like with a tempo that I could still control. So I have enough space to increase the tempo more and more. Yeah, so at 
at some point I started to just, you know, play around and go into the tempo. The problem is just that you're also losing some energy. Now, since I wanted to practice through the whole hour, I could really feel my arm after like, I don't know, 45 minutes. It really started to feel heavy in my arm. Also, I didn't choose like a super fast final tempo as I know that I would have to practice much, much more over many, many weeks until I would reach that tempo without any problems. And since I didn't want to injure myself, uh, I chose a tempo that's a little bit more comfortable to play in the end. <laughs> Since I see many people using the wrong technique to play these fast octaves, I thought it's worth to just take the time and talk a little bit about this technique. I see many people using the whole arm basically to repeat the notes or to play fast octaves. Problem is that the whole arm starts to get stiff and you're losing a lot of energy. The way we normally do it is by controlling our wrist. So the wrist has to be very flexible for that and you're basically doing everything out of the wrist. Now don't do the mistake and just fall into the keys. This is not the technique, it's actually the other way around which is a little bit complicated to explain but the movement always goes out of the keys and never into the keys like this. Like never smash the keys basically. Just prepare your fingers directly on the key without touching down then if you know that you are there touch down and push yourself away from the key. While you're up here your arm has time to relax. <laughs> Stay fixed in the position of your fingers, like don't do something like this. Your fingers don't need to relax. It's like really the arm that needs to relax. If you can grab an octave without any problem, grabbing and staying fixed in this position shouldn't cause any major tension. It's really avoiding the arm movement and managing everything through your wrist. That's, that's the main thing about this technique. And now, have fun practicing that. <laughs> challenge for today i hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and also don't forget to check the links in the description box for the upcoming concert in october in the liederhalle stuttgart with all the i'm looking forward to see you there and if you can't come see you in the next videos bye